Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Point by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? I am doing wonderful because it's nice and sunny here in Arizona and it's cooled off and I'm just ready to get up and jump around, let me tell you. So, I am doing a 12 by 12 bloom today on my canvas, which I have already put my base paint down, which is Color Place from Walmart. Um, ready to use white parenthesis satin and I incorporated my golden fluid acrylic teal to give it this beautiful color blue. It's kind of like a, a baby blue. It's not really teal teal because I didn't want it that dark. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a happy bloom today out of all the happy colors. Phil and I when we went for our walk today with the dog all these uh, beautiful rose bushes were in full bloom. And as you walked up to them, you could smell them. Oh, they smelled so gorgeous. But the funny thing is, in the, in the winter now, they're small. And then come summer in the spring, they're huge. I, Phil and I have no clue why. I'll have to take pictures and show you guys sometimes. But they're absolutely beautiful. So my colors for my bloom today are this little piggy is lakeside this little piggy pigment is twilight this little piggy is mermaid pigment this is the emerald pigment from primary elements this is primary magenta from amsterdam it's a paint mango mamba by primary element color art pigment this is a combination of phthalo blue by Amsterdam and rich cobalt pigment, which is primary element from color art. Lemon drop, primary element from color art. And this little piggy is a harvest gold pigment. And of course, you all know by now, my activator is my famous magic black, which is Floetrol and black Amsterdam paint of your choice, any color black. So, we're gonna get started here, and we're gonna see what we can make today on this gorgeous day. Yeah, it's beautiful today. Now you are, yes, you are doing a bloom with these colors. Mm -hmm. All right. So all these paints and pigments that, are, that Kathy is using in this bloom have the same recipe, and that's in video 248. So I'll have a direct link to that recipe in the description box. And what, what color was that? Okay, first of all, it was this little piggy lakeside. This one was this little piggy twilight. This one is this little piggy mermaid. Come on. This is the emerald by primary elements pigment. Like I said, we have all these colors by the rose bushes. This is Primary Magenta by Amsterdam. Next we have Mango Mamba, Primary Elements. Next is our Phalo Blue by Amsterdam, incorporated with our rich cobalt pigment. I actually do have some purchase links in the description box for a lot of the products that Kathy uses and yeah, her preferred products. This is Lemon Drop by Primary Elements. So if you'd like to get the same products that Kathy uses, check out the description box under Preferred Products. And this is Harvest Gold by This Little Piggy. This Little Piggy pig Pigments, okay. And Phil, you're going to be very proud of me. Why is that? I didn't drip. Oh, I am. You didn't even notice. Wow. <laughs> See, you didn't even notice. So I could have dripped, dripped, dripped. No, then you would have noticed. Do I want to bring this back here a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Here's my black magic, my cell activator. Okay, people. We're going to do our 
Abracadabra. See what we got. I'm loving me some of these blues, yeah, that's let beautiful. me tell you. Yes. Now, where'd my pink go? Where'd my green go? <laughs> green go? Green. Where'd my yellow go? I don't even care at this point. Yeah, that's <laughs> this nice, is beautiful. Nice start to the bloom. I do want to mention that Kathy did use the teal color base, and she does use a lot of colored bases with her paintings. And the reason for that is when it dries, you're going to have a nice coloration all around the bloom. And it just simply gives it some you know, added interest other than plain white. Oh, this is going to be pretty. Yes. It's going to be really, really pretty. Of course, as you can see, Kathy's using a straw. That way she can direct it exactly where she wants it with just the right amount of, of uh, blowing to get the effect that she wants. In some areas, it'll bring up more cells. And in other areas, it'll make some, I guess, uh, what would you call those, frills or something? Frills is good, Phil. That's a new word. Mm -hmm. Frills. <laughs> it's not a new word, but I don't know if it's even the appropriate word, but they can see what you're doing, so. And the reason that you have to be careful with the uh, blower that she used originally is you got to be very careful so you don't get down to the base paint. Oh, this is pretty. And so once you get the, the main part of the bloom done with the blower, then you can kind of tweak it uh, with the straw. Okay, I'm gonna bring in some color into this white a little bit. I really like how the gold, little piggy, this little piggy gold stayed in the middle for your, of your bloom. I kind of like that too, Phil. But uh, I, I agree with you, I, where did the yellows go? <laughs> Uh, they're under here because yeah, I can see them. There. Yeah, they're under there somewhere, probably. A little bit peeks out here and there, and I can see the some of the twilight in there, and of course the blues are all over. But uh, oh, there's a little bit of pink starting to poke through there. You can see Kathy is. Racking all around the bloom. And that kind of ties the bloom into the negative areas. Okay, I think I'm going to be just about done. So. Okay. Now we're going to see what happens. Yeah, I love all those different shades of the blues that are coming through on this bloom. Very striking. Okay, abracadabra. Let's see what you got for me. I'd, I'd go the other way. Well, I am. I know, but sometimes I think ah! this is just my... my uh, observation if you let it go too long the first way it's hard to get the paint back for the second way to move it you could be right Phil and you oh can it's see just how, cool uh, okay I just want yeah. to do it one more right. time to get that going yes but I think it's the other way no no this is the way I can never tell you you're the well, one that's good at telling <laughs> you know what I was saying is Ouch. the first way brought the paint 
up this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you go the other way, it starts to bring paint down this way. But because we let it go so long uh, the first way, most of it stayed up here. And as you can see, there's more white and less paint there. So it's fine. It's not, it's not a major problem at all. But I just think it's something that um, in the future to keep in mind to start off the spins um, slower. Go slower, slower and for less amount of time Correct. each way first to get the bloom expanded to the edge. Correct, Phil. So, wow. But it's, just tipping is, it, see? I know. It's, look, at, look at the center of that bloom. This is really pretty. Holy pretty. cow. This, this is beautiful. I love this. Mm -hmm. If you're a blue person, oh, this thing is, is really, really pretty. Here's where we picked up a lot of the other colors that you mm -hmm. did use, the greens and the yellows and the pinks. They're here all so, around. Right. So you're, so you're getting that all around the bloom, which mm -hmm. is cool. Go a little slower. You're going kind of oh, fast. Yeah, it's going to make, sorry. Yeah, it's gonna make sorry, everybody, everybody really dizzy. I'm going too fast. Yes, you are. But the uh, center bloom maintained its integrity. And then you got all the nifty colors around it. Okay, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share it and leave me a comment. Um, I love this. So... Please subscribe to our channel. We're well on our way to our goal, which is 10,000. And um, like I said, if you're already one of our subscribers, we love all of you. And even if you're not our subscriber, we love you, but we'd love you even more if you were a subscriber. And um, as you know, this is Phil and I, we're real. Phil tells it like it is. I tell it like it is. It's just us. So I hope everybody stays healthy, has a wonderful day. And until the next time, Bye, alligators. <laughs> Take another overall view here. And then so I don't get everybody dizzy, I'm going to go down slow. Yeah, because that was a little fast. I'm I get thinking, a, uh, well, we're going to a fire now. I get excited when I'm looking at this stuff, and then I start going too fast. <laughs>